Let's illustrate how pandas describe function works using our Laman baseball data set. Say that our baseball data was loaded into a pandas data frame called baseball using pandas read.csv function, like so. If we call baseball.describe, what do we get back? You can see that baseball.describe returns a data frame in and of itself. For every numerical column, we see the count, mean, standard deviation, min, 25th percent, 50th percent, 75th percent, and maximum values. We can do some quick checking to make sure that our data generally makes sense. Here, Laman ID has actually been read in as a number, which is a bit misleading. We won't be doing any arithmetic on it. But we see that the minimum birth month is 1, and the maximum birth month is 12, as we would expect. We see that the minimum birth date is 1, and the maximum birth date is 31. That makes sense. And we see that the mean birth year is actually 1928, which to me is surprising. I'd think that it would be a little bit later. Investigating values like this, we can tell pretty quickly what our data looks like and whether there might be any significant outliers in our data. In other words, are the min or max way larger than the values corresponding to the 25th or 75th percentile? Although we won't discuss exploratory analysis of data in depth, there's one thing that you might notice when looking at a summary of your data. It may have a bunch of missing values. This is evidenced here by the differences in count for our various columns. Since this is a particularly common problem, let's discuss why values may be missing and different methods we can use to mitigate the effect of those missing values on our analysis.